Thank you for having me. I'm happy to introduce you to, to Acera Surgical today. Um, we are a uh, platform technology company revolutionizing, revolutionizing soft tissue repair. Uh, we're backed by 10 years of clinical and um, academic research. We have a platform technology with a very large intellectual property portfolio. Uh, to, we participate commercially in a $2 billion market um, and uh, we have strong commercial growth today with very good with a very good gross margin profile. We're investing in our commercial engine uh, primarily along with clinical data um, and we're scaling our infrastructure as well to keep up with our commercial uh, revenue opportunity. Uh, the company was founded in St. Louis in 2013 by a guy named Matt McEwen, who today is our chief technology officer. Uh, Matt was working on his MD PhD program at WashU, um, had one year left, figured out what he discovered in the lab, went to WashU, licensed the technology, quit his program, passed a hat in St. Louis, friends and family to raise a little bit of money, and here we are 13 years later, um, uh, really rocking his technology. We have three uh, FDA cleared products. We have Cavora which is indicated for burns, first and second degree burns. We have Serifix, which is for dural repair. And we have Restrata, which is a family of products. And that's the one that is commercialized today. We have not commercialized Serifix, nor have we commercialized Kavora. Uh, we believe we're the future of soft tissue repair. We are a non-biologic, we're a non-allograph, we are a non-xenograft. Um, we believe our technology perfects the replication of human extracellular matrix. Um, and we, with our platform technology, can design whatever tissue construct we want in a synthetic way, biodegradable, resorbable, uh, very, um, uh, very applicable to a number of different clinical indications. The base uh, technology is called electrospinning. For those of you that are not familiar with it, you basically take liquid polymers, um, you can take a range of uh, bioresorbable polymers. You inject them into a highly charged electrical system. And the novelty of the technology is that it spits out fibers that can be collected and made into a matrix. The fibers are subcellular, so they're, they're nanometers in scale. That is the novelty of the technology, and that's why the body reacts so well to our constructs and why the, the power of, of uh, regeneration of soft tissue is so efficient. We can play with the fiber size, we can play with the way the fibers are aligned. We can play with the strength, the degradation profile, how long it stays in the body. We can put through the system a number of different polymers. Um, we can make these elastic, we can make them in cubes. So it's a very, um, very high potential for a number of different clinical applications, platform technology. We have um, a very strong and broad product uh, or patent portfolio. We have two patent families that we outlicensed from WashU. We continue to aggressively prosecute um, those families and those open applications. We have two patent families that are our own. Um, so uh, our, our patent portfolio goes well outside of what we're doing commercially today, but we have broad opportunities in a number of different spaces. So again, just getting to the product portfolio, Restrata is the product we're focused on commercially. It is indicated for wound management, any and all kinds of wounds, surgical wounds, traumatic wounds, full thickness wounds. We have three um, form factors or, or uh, product types. Uh, Kavora, again, for first and second degree burns, and Serifix for dural repair. Um, again, just to remind you, Kavora and Serifix are not commercialized today. We haven't commercialized those just because of, of focus um, and scarce resources. Uh, so just talking about Restrata, the beauty of Restrata is if you look at Restrata and you compare it to human ECM under um, strong microscope, it looks exactly the same And that we've made it to mimic human extracellular matrix. It comes in uh, a number of different form factors, which I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Um, it's made from poly, poly, polydiaxinone fibers and PGLA, so um, materials that are well known in, in the med tech space, um, the basis for resorbable sutures. Um, it's got some very interesting properties. I'll talk about a couple of them. One is that it uh, is resistant to enzymatic degradation, so it's very sturdy. You can suture it, you can staple it, stays in the defect, the soft tissue defect space, um, not affected by enzymes. It also elicits, when it dissolves via hydrolysis, a slightly acidic microenvironment. 
So when it dissolves, and it does that in, in the form that we have, Restrata, it'll dissolve in the body from two to four weeks. When it dissolves, it creates this microenvironment that's slightly acidic, and it does it because of the degradation of the material results in um, some slightly uh, acidic byproducts. Um, I'll come back to that because that's a really important um, uh, piece of the technology. Um, scale is everything, and, and, there, and again, the reason this works so well in the body and we're having such fantastic clinical results is the scale. These fibers are 500 times smaller than a number zero of resorbable suture. They're many times smaller than a human cell, and that is the novelty when you see this work um, in many of the experiments we've done. Not only does it look exactly like human ECM, but you can actually see the, the way the body reacts to it and, and the cells sort of transporting themselves through the matrix. Uh, again, talking about scale and why scale and size matter, and just to give you some perspective, on the left-hand side, you see a human hair, you see a spore of pollen, and in the background, that's Restrata. Um, that is the fibers of Restrata. And on the right-hand side, you see a human cell reacting to um, the matrix itself. Uh, I talked about this. We recently did the USP51 uh, benchtop test, which is the standard test for antimicrobial, antimicrobial antifungal. Um, it, we tested both Restrata sheets. We also tested Restrata mini matrix against five of the most prolific bacteria in surgical wounds and two of the, um, two of the most prolific fungi. Um, we, we crushed the test, three log reduction after four weeks in all of those uh, bad guys. So it's got antimicrobial, antibacterial uh, properties, and that's, that's really important in, in uh, soft tissue uh, healing. Uh, where we're focused today, commercially we're focused in plastic surgery, plastic surgery reconstruction. We're focused in orthopedic and trauma. Um, that's a giant call point for us. We're also focused in ortho-oncology when they're taking out big soft tissue uh, blocks and they need to recreate soft tissue. We're also focused in vascular surgery and, and foot and ankle surgery. And then this is what it looks like, the three different form factors. Restrata comes in a sheet format. It comes in a meshed version that expands two to one for increased coverage area. And it comes in a particulate version. The particulate version is new. Uh, we just launched that a few months ago and it's doing quite well. Um, from a clinical uh, data perspective, we continue to invest here. We recently published our first RCT. Um, we will continue to make uh, strong investments here. We are completely OR focused, so that's our, that's our call point, um, and that's where we continue to do most of our clinical work in the OR. Uh, we're headquarters, I mentioned, in St. Louis. We have a headquarter office where we do uh, all the admin functions. We do inventory, pick, pack, and ship. We have a manufacturing site down the street uh, where we do mini matrix production, cutting, packaging, R&D work, finishing, labeling, uh, prototyping, et cetera. Um, this is what we're focused on currently. Um, we're focused on a couple of, of areas in particular. The product portfolio, we still have tons of potential in a number of different spaces that we haven't even conceived of today. So we're, we're working on a, a Restrata implantable version of the technology. Uh, that's, that is um, uh, moving nicely. And then beyond that, we've got a full R&D pipeline uh, and we're trying to make sure we prioritize that in the right way for growth moving forward. We've got 42 direct reps. I uh, expect to end the year with 60. We have a hybrid sales force. We do have uh, 50 agencies as well. Um, and working a lot on rep productivity, we've, we've got a great commercial leader who's done a phenomenal job. Um, we've got broad access. We pretty much have every GPO contract we want. We've got a lot of IDN contracts. Don't really seem to be challenged there. We're doing quite well. And last but not least, we uh, will invest, continue to invest in our clinical data uh, from a commercial standpoint, um, we finished the year at 26.3 million, up from six, a little over 16. Um, we are accelerating our revenue growth. We had a really strong fourth quarter, and um, we're looking forward to the future. From a capital perspective, we do have a friends and family cap table, no institutional money. Um, we will be looking to raise money, amount to be determined. Um, we're funded into next year, but we're looking uh, to scale the organization significantly given the opportunity we have. Thank you very much.